unprecedentedly. No government within a period of four or five years have been able to tar the number of kilometers of roads that we have tied, over 3,600 kilometers of road that we have tied in the midst of the West. Okay, you came, you picked our debts from 9 billion to almost about 122 billion. You can calculate the percentage for, for yourself. We, admittedly, have moved from 123 billion to 400 billion or whatever, but we have things to show for. We have private sector that we have supported to generate at least, at least 126 factories that are operational and others that are being, being built. We have, we have people who have been supported in private sector to ensure that their businesses thrive. We are spending about a billion dollars every year to keep energy on so that TV3 doesn't have to go and buy fuel to power their, their, their plants. Because if they do, the operational cost will go up and they will have to lay off staff. And people, Ghanaian citizens, will go home hungry. So we shouldn't kid ourselves. Listen, in the last two weeks, I have been to several districts in this country. It was a Friday. I was in the north with the vice president to launch the $150 million SOCO project for the 48th district. They have genuine challenges. They have genuine local economic challenges that this government, in the midst of the waste that you refer to, is fixing for them.